Hello friends, it's Coop from Garage Room Reviews. Today I'm here to review and react to Mike Isratel, the full round man himself from Renaissance Periodization's home gym. He has a sick, detached shop home gym. He's very much focused on bodybuilding and so he has a ton of machines. I'm very jealous because I have started to train and follow more of his training. I actually wanted to try Renaissance Periodization, the app, Maybe we'll do a review on that. If you'd like to see that, let me know in the comments. Also, Mike, if you're watching, I would love to come out into your gym in person. I'd even laugh at your not funny jokes. Just kidding, I laugh all the time when I watch them. But let's let's go through. Okay, Detroit, Michigan, armpit of America. Sorry, everybody that lives in Detroit. Just kidding, I've only been there one time. Okay, he's got the shop right behind the house with the pond off the side. Very nice. It is a gravel driveway. One thing you'll see in the gym, it is very dark. It's a different style than I like. He likes more of a dark, but the lighting is pretty nice. 2,500 square feet, ooh. A lot of Atlanta stuff. I can already see some sick pieces. One thing about Mike is it seems like he actually really likes equipment, so he can pick some stuff. Got a lot of Arsenal, got a lot of Atlantis. He's got some unique stuff, like a winning belt squat. You can see the Kabuki Transformer bar there. Umax dumbbells. I like a guy that knows his equipment. The prime seated row, if there's one piece I'm really wanting, it's the prime seated row. It's not even the cost. It's the year wait time. A year! Ooh, the smart, the smart strength technology with the, the overloaded cam. That's a sweet setup. I don't know if that's his tennis court in the background there, but look at his, look at his garage. Maybe that's where he stores his Lambos, but he's got a huge garage already. And then he built a shop too. It's a sweet, sweet property, man. Lighting is pretty nice. Nice overhead lighting. I mean, he's doing it specifically because he's doing video work, but lighting is nice for training, you know? Especially, I mean, he's bodybuilding, so he's doing probably some posing in front of mirrors too, or at least people he's training. Makes the things pop. The free motion dual cable cross is so good. Same one I have in my gym. The difference is he has the newer one. There are some benefits to the newer one. There's some negatives. I prefer my older one. The one change you have to make with the old one is you gotta change out the pulleys to aluminum. The one thing, Mike, if you're watching this, if you wanna make it even better, you need to attach, which your Genesis, you may not be able to, because a lot of the front is actually a plastic shroud instead of the old ones like I got, that's a metal shroud. You need to attach an upright with a prime stability pad so that you mimic the Cybex Bravo. That's how you make the GOAT functional trainer because the Cybex Bravo stability pad is amazing to have, but the free motion is the best functional trainer. I'm really hoping a company, be sick of his free motion, implemented that within the system already. But if you wanna make yours even better, do it. Okay, he because he's got so much space, he's got one of these jungle racks, which is basically just a ton of cable stacks. So you can do lap pull downs, low rows, like you got all sorts of pulleys, cable crossovers, you name it. For most home gym owners, this makes no sense. But for, you know, if you got the space, use it. One thing I'll say, he's using arsenals. Arsenal makes great stuff. Made in USA, tremendous, heavy stacks. They're very nice. They are using nylon pulleys though. Home gym owners can have Everything that this does, except for the width on the cable crossover, which may not even be beneficial always, you could have all this within basically a Aris or a Force USA or a <laughs> Athena. Pretty cool uh, what companies have been able to do now, offering a compact platform while also having a squat rack. Atlantis lateral raise, sweet piece. I don't know if he's gonna mention this. The problem with the Atlantis lateral raise is number one, you can't do chest flies. So it's not like Panada where you can basically adjust them and do chest flies. And it's also not like a cheap one, like a Bolt Fitness or there's new company Temple of Gains, which are actually better in some ways than even the Panada, which is the original. And the reason is if you look at this, basically where the handles are lying right now in the Atlantis, there's no pre-stretch. So you're getting a stretch at somewhat the bottom range of motion, which is more than what you get with dumbbells. Cause you do dumbbells, you're basically gonna get tension here. You're not getting any tension here. But with say the Bolt Valkyrie, you can set it so the handles go opposite so that you have tension at the very bottom of the movement. Atlantis makes amazing stuff. Absolutely tremendous quality. They're very pricey um, and they have long lead times, but man, they're so nice. But I will say, if they're gonna make this machine better, in my opinion, you gotta add even more stretch to it. Adjustable bench, that's an Arsenal adjustable bench. Uh, it's an okay bench. 
there's 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 definitely better benches, but not a bad bench. The urethane Umax. So they Umaxes are they're nice urethane dumbbells. Um, very similar to American Barbell. They're press fit. They go heavy. They're compact. They're using straight handles with decent knurling. They're nice dumbbells. Not the best in the world, in my opinion. Like, but they are very they're a very good dumbbell. You typical commercial gym dumbbell. He's got, notice he's got the mini split up there. So I don't know if that's how he's heating and cooling the whole place. Like that may just be auxiliary adding to what he's already got, but team mini split. Atlantis hack squat selectorized. That's an interesting choice. I wonder why he went with selectorized just so it's easier. But I mean, you can see the pins already at the bottom of the stack. I wonder why he went selectorized versus the, the big boy. Look at that depth. Smooth machine. Pendulum squat, Arsenal pendulum squat. It's a nice pendulum squat. They got that huge counterweight on the back. They're just big, bulky. The original pendulum squat is the Paramount Total Leg. Absolutely amazing machine because you can actually change the loading on the back pin too. This has a fixed back, back pin. It also shakes a bit. I think the Predator Strength pendulum squat, I think that may be the GOAT status right now, but it's a good pendulum squat. Winning belt squat. One of the biggest problems with the winning belt squat is the depth. It is on a lever system. I would like to see Mike's thoughts on the squat max MD. It just, it feels really good. The ease of setup though on the winning belt squat is really nice. One of the problems though is the depth you can get on it. And I noticed he's got one, two, three, four of the, basically the, they call them thug rugs, like the tiles. Um, so you can get extra depth, which it's pretty cool how easy it is to set up. Kabuki transformer bar, sick bar. Kind of the goat. It's got massive quads. My goodness. Camber bar, rackable curl bar, handles. One thing I'll say on this handle, I I've seen him talk about that red lap bar before. The reason I think he says he likes it is because it doesn't spin at all, which is so true. All the lap bars spin. And it sounds like a nice thing, but having a fixed clip on a lap bar, you just feel so much stronger because you're not worrying about losing your grip. And that one's really thin. I bet that thing's just off some cheap, you know, machine or something. But companies are overbuilding a lot of cable uh, attachments to their detriment. I'd love just one like that basically. Got the mag grips in the background. Get the Dynepic tricep spiral grip rope. It's nice, Mike. Get it. Also, to vary things up, the Darko Shorty Bar, you can attach basically to your free motion if you want to attach, attach the pulleys. And you can use it for rows. You can landmine and stuff like that. Sick attachment, I've been using it quite a bit. Also, another one to maybe look at, maybe not Mike, because he has all these attachments, but the Back Widow, a lot of stuff you can do with that one too. Arsenal leg press, it's a big boy. I'm pretty sure it's based on the old Nebula design, uh, which is a very nice leg press. Also, if you look at the bottom, they've got the basically calf bar, which is pretty cool too. Nice, ooh, prime. I am kind of surprised you went with the selectorized prime. One, it costs more. Two, they're harder to move around. But three, you do have the adjustable cam, but the plate loaded version has the adjustable arms where you can place more plates on them. They're both fantastic. But if I'm gonna get one personally, it'd be one with the plate loaded. They have a combo now, leg extension and line leg curl. Really like to try that one. T-bar row, Atlantis, it's nice. If you want to simulate a basically like a chest supported row, get the Pritchett pad from Rogue. Most home gym owners, you're not gonna have space for something like this. Get the Pritchett pad. It is, I've been using it more and more. The more I've used it, the more I've loved it. It's awesome. Pullover, man, the biggest flex a home gym owner can have is a pullover in your home gym. It just does one thing, takes up a ton of space. Very expensive, but oh, they're so nice. Now the sack squat. He thinks it's real good, huh? I wonder why. Typically, the Cybex is, is one that people love or the Atlantis. I do notice as much as he loves it, he did customize it. He threw different angle on the foot plate. Those are rogue deep dish plates too. I'm pretty sure they look great. Oh, maybe to get more depth. He likes all the selectorized stuff. It's probably so he doesn't have to move weight around. So assisted pull-up machine, most people would be like, what, assisted pull-up machine? Can you even lift, you know? Uh, but a lot of people can't do pull-ups and I would guess that he's doing this so he can basically do as strict a form as possible for pull-ups for more hypertrophy purposes, less strength. Cybex Smith, 
It's got an angle. I think the, the equipment of the year for the home gyms here soon is going to be the in rack Smith machine attachments. Added one from Bolt to my gym. I've been using it a lot. Smith machines, vastly underrated. <laughs> it's just duct tape. He's got the nicest gym and they just throw some duct tape on it. Lots of mirrors, does have a lunge lane. Pretty big lane, sick. Mike, you got a sick gym. It really is sick, very nice. I'd love to see it in person. If you're wanting to build a bodybuilding type gym, honestly, he could pack way more equipment in there or shrink the equipment that he has now into smaller space. He may not have some of like as wide of a lunge lane, things like that. But if you're looking for machines specifically, cause that's the type of training you like to do, Mike's got some really good hand-picked machines. Sick gym, Mike. All right, this has been Coop from Garage Gym Reviews. What gym would you like to see us react to next? Let me know in the comments. Peace.